What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction for y'all. So, apparently, since Kendrick was going crazy on that Watch the Party Die and such, and if you haven't, go check it out. And the fact that he released that on 9-11 of all days is crazy. In that song, he mentioned two to be exact Christian rappers one of them being Lecrae so he responded with ain't watch the party die and I got the lyrics pulled up so he responded to Kendrick cuz Kendrick was saying in this in the lyric he was saying what would Lecrae do and such either F these niggas F these motherfuckers up sorry if I curse in the first minute but F these mans up or watch them pray or pray and such so you know something like that right but either way let's see what and look if you don't know Leclay, Leclay, like i just said earlier Leclay is one of the christian rappers and such so hey and plus i rock with some of Leclay's song christian rap songs i don't care what you say because i know most people have their agendas with christian rap and all that hey it is what it is but me personally i like them so we about to check this response out Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get into this. What's you got for us, Lecrae? I was wrestling like, should I write a verse? The culture got enough clout chasing vultures out here, trying to prove they worth. They need attention. They can't imagine. That's facts. Hold on, run that back. And it's been a little minute since I've heard some Lecrae, cause I know he's always on his God type vibes for every video he puts out. I've always seen that he's putting on many other things, talking about Christianity and other stuff and such. So it's been a little for me. It's been a little minute since he's actually put out a verse, but I put out something of like rapping wise and whatnot. So I gotta really. Digest this, so let's get it. Hold on, run it back. What she said, Kate, the crate. I was wrestling like, should I write a verse? The culture got enough clout chasing vultures out here, mm. trying to prove they worth. They need attention. That's a fact. They can't imagine me not trying to make myself look bigger off of this Kendrick mention. I can't imagine his position. Before I got on my mission, I was a party victim. I bought the party favors. I used my trauma, my single mama, to justify commas to pay the devil's wages. Mm. And yeah, you know, once it's basically like this. One of those Christian, with certain Christian rappers, you know, they would have to tell them about they certain past and such that they said. So I like how he's saying about how he used to be a party victim. He used to bought the party favors, and that could be tying into him being about like in the. With the way how the music industry is where certain motherfuckers want to get favors and such from other people. Let's be honest. Nine times out of ten, it wouldn't be a favor if there's money involved. That's how I look at it. But yeah. And he's saying he used to use his trauma, his single mama, just to justify commas to pay the devil's wages. Mm. Saying about that, I used to always rap about the certain type of ish. That always used to get me paid and that's getting me paid and such just so I can give it back to somebody else and that'd be a lot of these labels most of the times that you would have to rap about certain ish and such right and you gotta rap about all of that even if it's not from the heart and such just so you can be able to pay off somebody I ain't gonna lie with you that's like he said that's a culture vulture move right there I ain't gonna lie but before I got on my mission, I was a party victim. I bought the party favors. I used my trauma, my single mama, to justify commas to pay the devil's wages. Woo! Huh. That probably went over their heads. Basically, what I said is I was government fed. Bread for doing time and affairs, but Jesus bled. Instead of putting dents in their head, he turned his. My cup runneth over with nonsense. They hearts grow colder, they love to do evil, they burn their conscience. I want the dealer's head who gave my cousin fentanyl. Labels exploiting rapping addicts, man, I'm sick of y'all. That be true. Labels exploiting rapping, uh, rapping addicts. 
that be a lot of them <laughs> it's basically like this with rap with the labels and look I may not be a rapper now myself but let's be honest if you look at how most people are successful by being themselves rather than signed to a label because we always want you always hear the term where rappers always want to sign to a label and all this and that but look when you get down to how the labels are they be snit you think you be your niggas well there be some of your friends that want to stab you in the back but these labels <laughs> they won't give a damn about you and such they won't care how passionate you are about certain topics and whatnot if you ain't making them their money if you ain't trying to do what they tell you to do in order to sell your music they ain't caring they love to do evil, they burn their conscience I want the dealer's head who gave my cousin fentanyl no. Labels exploiting rapping addicts, man, I'm sick of y'all My daddy ran with Compton Chris, my uncle's Pyro Stuck in the middle of this madness, what should I choose? I should be choosing between Howard and Hampton I love the people that I ran with, but look at the damage You want me to put you on, but I know you still with the scamming Oh, oh I never know Oh, so, so, so. hey, so don't get it so Lecrae is that so he wasn't lying when he said he was a party victim and all that and such he said my daddy ran with Compton Chris my uncle's pyro yeah I can see I did see shout out to the channel finding sounds on the lyrics he they did put in a comment saying about how some some of the lyrics were like mistake were misspelled and such so because that pyro is spelled with an i not an a that's crazy of how pyro <laughs> but regardless we hearing what he's saying but yeah he's basically lecrae was with the shits until he turned over but who says he can still be in it that's that's to me i always say where i don't judge a book by its cover because yeah you can be somebody who's god fearing and all that but just because you god fearing that don't make you a poof. That's all I know. My uncle's pyro stuck in the middle of this madness. What should I, I choose? I should be choosing between oh, Howard and Hampton. I love the people that I read. basically saying about you should choose between Howard, which is like if I'm not that's like that private school and such, and Hampton, California and such. Basically between having that smart, having that knowledge in your head, or still running with that gang mentality and such. What should I choose? I should be choosing between Howard and Hampton. I love the people that I ran with, but look at the damage. You want me to put you on, but I know you still with the scamming. A crooked doctor took advantage and hooked me on Xanax. This killer sitting in a cell for taking somebody innocent. And they don't even feel no remorse. The worst ignorance. That's a fact. But when I take a look in the mirror, the blood of your is on my hands. Cause I'm that killer who had bad Sheba in his quarters. I'm that who let Eve taste the fruit of death. And I'm cra it's so crazy he don't want to say nigga. <laughs> Cause look you know you look, I wouldn't I never get why most certain black people won't want to say nigga. To me, I've been like this. And this is a Caribbean motherfucker saying this. Not only just a black person, but a Caribbean black person in my knowledge. To me, now granted, it depends on how you, hey, if you feel a certain type of way with the word, that hey, that's your prerogative. But to me, here's how I feel with in it two ways. Either one, as long as it's the, pro, as long as the one is the greeting one, and it's not saying it in like a rude way or whatever, and two, especially if it's to non-black people and whatnot, this is how I feel, and hey, you can say what you want, but at the end of the day, this is how I feel. If I rock with you heavy, right? Don't. And if you're going, if you're going to want to use the N word, I'm gonna say it like this: You can use it around me only with the A, though. But don't get too comfortable when you just because you're using it around me, that don't means you gotta say it around other people, cause. You're only comfortable with, I, I'm, you comfortable with me, because me, hey, I take it how I am. And plus, and, and let's be honest, you, though, I've always heard somebody say, words give, you give it, you can be, basically what I'm trying to say is, if you have so much emotion and such into that word, 
or into any other slow words or whatnot. Hey, that's your that's your prerogative. That's how you want to take it. But for me, words can just be out come in one ear and out the other. Cause at the end of the day, do you have time to even argue with them? Cause they're never gonna change. So what will be the point of arguing with them when they're bl the same way how I'm blind set on my certain things about words or actions? It's the same way how they're gonna be on such until when they want to change that's on them and look i know some of y'all i saw certain comments where they're saying oh why do you keep on why you keep on pausing so long and nigga it's called a reaction channel the fact that some of y'all who still that's why be, i be saying this the most if y'all motherfuckers be the same ones who gonna keep talking about look and i get it that is constructive criticism but if nigga if you're gonna ask me about why you keep pausing and such in the middle of a song? Uh, news flash. Why you think this is? Why you think in the brackets at the end of each title for any reaction channel it says reaction? Anyway, back to this. Somebody innocent, and they don't even feel no remorse. The worst ignorance. But when I take a look in the mirror, the blood of your riots on my hands, cause I'm that killer who had bad Sheba in his quarters. I'm, I'm that, that nigga who let Eve taste the fruit of death. I'm dead sinner. I deserve death, along with all these liars and hypocrites. Fake tough rappers who fabricate their predicaments. Facts. Fake deep guru pushing voodoo on the people. Telling folks that my God ain't real. That's real evil. Facts. Huh. I wonder what Lecrae would do. Hopefully seek the hand of God and tell him that he's incapable. Nice little flip on what Kendrick was saying. A nigga wonder what Lecrae would do and such. Nice little flip on his. What Lecrae right would do. Hopefully seek the hand of God and tell him that he's incapable. But truthfully, I'm nobody to judge. My good deeds are like some period blood stains on a dirty rug. All I can... Mm. <laughs> My good deeds are like what? Period blood stains on a dirty rug. Mm. That's why period blood though. <laughs> you could have just said regular blood stains and whatnot, but period blood. Yeah, <laughs> that's nasty. <laughs> Hopefully, seek nasty the hand of God and tell him that he's incapable. But truthfully, I'm nobody to judge. My good deeds are like some period blood stains on a dirty rug. All I can offer them is Jesus' love. I know it sounds foolish to many, like, really? That's all you got for us? Yeah. The cross is foolish to the perishing. The world will call me weak, and the saints will say I embarrass them. I walk the valleys. Hey, and look, me as a person who is Christian and such, right? But the thing is, I'm not one of those, like, preachy, preachy type of Christians where I'm going to force you to love the word of God. Because, look, no, nah, I'm not one of those Christians. And anybody from my family or anybody else can tell you. I'm not the type of person who's going to preach heavy, heavy into you just so you can get into your... I'm not that. Not that whatsoever. Because at the end of the day, whatever you believe in, even if you're not religious, even if you're not this and that, look, whatever you believe in is whatever you believe in. Whether it's right or whether it's wrong... Who am I to try, like he just said, who am, I'm nobody to judge, so who am I to, well, I might judge a little, but it depends on it, just only a little, but hey, it is what it is, but sometimes you hear the words saying, action speaks more louder than words, so hey, I can't judge somebody until when I see what their actions are all about, because cause there be a lot of people who want to judge somebody on their Christianity and whatnot, and and look, and for all my Christians out there too, some of y'all be living some, and y'all know damn well y'all do. Y'all be living some crazy, out of control lives, and y'all still want to claim y'all Christians. So, me personally, that's why I say with me, I know I'm a Christian, but hey, I live my life how I want to live my life. I don't tell anybody else to live theirs, so as long as you don't tell me how to live my life, I ain't telling you how to live your life, but just know... There will be always consequences for the certain things you do in your actions. That's all I'm going to say on that. Because Lord, cause Lord knows if I start doing... Lord knows if I start being this and that and the third, I'm going to get rained down. But 
Hey, live your life. That's all I gotta say. Some period blood stains on a dirty rug. All I can offer them is Jesus' love. I know it sounds foolish to many, like, really? That's all you got for us? Yeah. The cross is foolish to the perishing. The world will call me weak, and the saints will say I embarrass them. I walk the valleys full of evil, I'm aware of it. I can't condemn the world and burn all of the heretics. Love is patient, so I'm trusting in the narrative. And Christ ain't watch the party die, he died instead of it. Mm. It's saying he don't want y'all to die, he died for all y'all. Why you think the saying is he died for all of our sins? Saying that he don't want all of us to die, he just want... He basically saying he's taking the blame for every one of us sinning out here and such. So, hey, that's all... Shout out to Lecrae, and apparently I saw D1 made a response to. Nah, damn. I'm going to react to that when I can. But hey, shout out to Lecrae, man, because he did his thing too. Been a little, Like I said, it's been a little minute since I heard from him and such, so it's good to see him going back into his like uh, element, you can say, of like the pain and such, because... Lord and behold, I, it's been a little minute since I basically it's been a little minute since I heard him. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. And like I just saw that D1 D1 responded to. Pff, I can't wait to see what he says and such. But yeah, it's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive, keep the vibes up. I'm out.